Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Kay, and I've been working on the Junk Journal January Challenge hosted by Meg Journals in collaboration with Get Messy Art. And as always, I'll have the introductory video to that challenge in the description box. So the papers I'm working with are from Dot's Inspiration Shop on Etsy, and I printed out two identical papers in a 5x7 size, and these will create my two pages. But I wanted to keep them together. I just thought it would be easier to punch the hexagons that I'm going to be working with. And of course, I think you can see where this is going. This will satisfy the prompt of geometric. And of course, a hexagon is also a honeycomb shape, hence the B paper. And the grungy papers that I'm using uh, fulfill the prompt of grungy. So I'm just going to be combining those two items onto these two pages. And I'm just inking up the edges and matching the pattern on the honeycomb to the pattern on the base page there. So this is my second time working on this page. Uh, the first attempt I was doing some Mod Podging with some napkin and I just really didn't like the way it was going. So I decided to start completely over. I do have an embellishment that I'd already made for that previous page and I just took that off and started over. So it's just an embellishment cluster with some lace and some grungy honeycomb or honey colored ribbon and a little bit of hand stitching there on the sides. And that card is uh, from Artie Mays and it has lyrics on it about bee song. And so that will fulfill the lyrics prompt also. And so I was very fortunate that all this came together so well. Uh, now I'm just taking that Stampers Anonymous stencil by Tim Holtz and just inking some honeycomb onto the page just reinforcing that honey color and the honeycomb theme so now I'm just grunging up the paper and wrinkling it up and it did tear as I did that which is perfect so I'm just inking those tears and then once that's done, I will go ahead and place the honeycomb onto the pages. But first, I decided to trim them down a little bit smaller because I was thinking that that would create a little bit more depth to the page without adding any more dimension. And so this just takes me a little while because I tend to be a little too perfect on that, even though it's just a grungy journal page <laughs> but uh, I like the way that it looks and um, I'm really happy with the way it came out so once I finish that then I'm going to cut the page in half I just thought it'd be so much easier to do this all as one and then cut the pages in half and trim the edges so it worked out beautifully and um, so much easier I think than if I would have had the pages already cut. So I just line up some pages from the notebook that I bought and then I use that to mark the center and then I take it to my large paper cutter and then I stop the video for a while and when I come back I will have already added the pages to the respect, respective um, backs of the pages already completed in my journal <laughs> and then I will have the holes punched and everything so everything will be ready to go except for adding the embellishment on the top and then I also before I do that I also reinforce that honeycomb pattern with the stencil once all the honeycomb are glued into place I decided to leave off the, the top two right hand side pieces because I just didn't want my embellishment to feel like it was boxed in and I just think that gave it a more open look and flow to the design there. 
I didn't want it to be so much of a border as just blowing honeycomb on the bottom. So anyway, uh, it this video is going by a lot faster than what it took for me to do this. Obviously, it took a little while, but I'm so happy with the way it came out. And of course, I did grunge up the journaling card with the lyrics on there and gave it a good inking with the vintage photo, crinkled it up, you know, had the torn edges. And right there, I'm just adding a little bit of depth to it by adding a piece of paper on the back and just getting it where I want it to be. And that's all there is to it to this page and I'm really happy with the way it turned out and I'm happy that I caught all those three prompts onto these two pages and my January journal is finished. Overall I'm very pleased with the pages much better than my first attempt and I'm really happy with the honeycomb pattern on the bottom. That was a fun technique to do. If I were to do it again and I had unlimited space, I would double up the honeycomb just to raise it up and give it more dimension. But I think for a writing journal, if it was going to be somewhere there, just a single layer uh, would be fine. And then also by Dividing the space in between the honeycomb pieces just added so much more depth. So I think I might have been a little heavy handed with the stenciling. I don't know. It seems a lot of the same color, like maybe I just got too much. But they are grungy pages, so tell me what you think. Do you think it's just enough for grungy pages, or do you think that it's too much? And what techniques do you use when you grunge up your papers? So let me know in the comments, and as always, hitting that like button would be so appreciated, and don't forget, if you want to join me for my upcoming videos, to hit that notification bell. Thanks so much for watching. Catch you next time. Bye!